During our Farm Basics time today, we'll talk about gibberellic acid and a specific product called Rise Up Smart Grass. When you think about gibberellic acid, it's one of those growth hormones that can really help a grass crop. So when we're talking about it, it's usually pasture grass or wheat or corn, something like that, not soybeans and alfalfa. With grasses, what we see from the root system is the roots will produce gibberellic acid naturally and then send that up the plant for stem elongation. When conditions are cool in the spring, we don't move much of that gibberellic acid up through the plant, so you'll see green up out in a pasture, or you'll see green up in a wheat field, or you'll see early growth out in a corn field where the corn is still a little bit on the pale side. Uh, and then later on, when temperatures warm up, then that gibberellic acid will naturally start coming. So applying a product like Rise Up Smart Grass can get stem elongation happening sooner. All right, so with this gibberellic acid, and the reason why we're talking about stem elongation is this is huge in terms of tonnage. So it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference in terms of grain production in most cases. But if you are a farmer or a rancher who's interested in more tonnage with grass out in your pasture, more tonnage in terms of silage or something like that, hey, this is a big deal. And Darren mentioned spring, but let's also think about fall. We have the exact same issue in the fall with pastures. So what we're talking about here is daytime temperatures in the 45 to 65 degree range. Just think about those cooler temps in the spring and in the fall. What we're saying is there isn't enough gibberellic acid to produce the type of stem elongation that you would like to see to maximize tonnage. So by simply adding this natural product on top of a grass plant, it will push growth and then you'll end up with more total tonnage by the end of the year. I like that you mentioned natural product because this is something that could be used in organic production or conventional production. And the other thing is it's a natural growth hormone. So it isn't something that you say, well, I'm going to have more stem elongation. Now I'm going to be more prone to lodging or tipping over. No, we don't see that with Rise Up Smart Grass. We actually see those stalks being sturdier. So really the only concern that I've seen from our experience on our farm has been when we've used other growth hormones in too close an interval with Rise Up Smart Grass. Since it is a plant growth hormone, there are certain stages that you want to use it in and you don't want to mix it with a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you've got other plant growth hormones that you're putting out there, say in the furrow or in a seed treatment, you want to wait until we get to V2 or V3 corn. Now we're far enough down the road that we aren't going to have an interaction with the things we did early. All right, so specifically what we're talking about here is gibberellic acid. There's a product called Rise Up Smart Grass that contains gibberellic acid. If you were going to use that product, for example, and there are others out there too, but if you're going to use Rise Up, the rate would be 0.3 to 0.5. I prefer the 0.5 ounces per acre, so half an ounce per acre. That's going to run roughly four to five dollars an acre. So it's pretty inexpensive. We have seen good gains with this. It's something we absolutely encourage you to try on your farm if you're after more tons with grass or silage. We also want you to strongly consider getting our Weed of the Week under control right away. If you have this tough weed on your farm, it can really rob yield. Can you identify this week's weed? <music>